Hey everyone, okay, this look is based on the Christina Aguilera and a great big world song called Say Something. So I'm going to be prepping the face, which we did in a previous video, because I wanted to show how to create a really flawless base. So this bit is the same. Now bear in mind, Lucy's face is obviously very different from Christina Aguilera, so this is an interpretation of the makeup. We use similar colors and all the rest. We kept the makeup subtle, but Lucy's got much bigger eyes than Christina. There, there's much more space. So the look can look a little bit more dramatic than it does on Christina. So we're prepping the skin and applying the foundation. And this tutorial, as I mentioned, was done before. And you can see that it's in the description bar if you want to go and check it out. So concealer, foundation, we've primed the skin. All of this remains the same. We want to create a flawless base so that the rest of it looks as beautiful as it can. So, moving on. Applying a bit of bronzer in a second, but first we're just powdering the T-zone area. We used a very matte foundation that doesn't require powdering, but I would prefer to powder the T-zone anyway as it tends to get oily. Powder wherever is necessary. But these foundations set themselves. Just filling in the brows a little bit more to give structure to the face. Once we're done here, and all the information and products are in the description bar, of course, a little bit of blush will come next. And then we'll move on to the eyes and the lips. So applying a small amount of blush just to lift the face, nothing too dramatic. So we're using the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette and I'm applying the pink shade, which is the second shade in the palette. And I'm applying this to the eyelids to begin with. Then I'm gonna take the silver shade and I'm gonna be using that on the lid, but first I'm defining the crease with a matte brown, very lightly, nothing too strong. Going over with the second but last shade, which is the silver, very lightly across the eyelid. Then I'm just gonna create a winged eyeliner on the outside corner of the eye, just to lift the eye a fraction, nothing too extreme. Lots and lots and lots and lots of mascara is applied. I'm gonna thicken this line because I want it to be slightly thicker. So I'm going in a diagonal to create a more of a lift. Mascara on the lower lashes. I'm just gonna wipe away some of the fallout. There's a little bit of fallout. I'm just gonna wipe it away and reapply concealer to that area because it will just give a brighter effect and I want the makeup to be bright and you know, healthy looking, flawless. So you can see the space. Lucy's got a lot of space in her eyes, which makes it look more dramatic. Outlining just the outside corner of the eyes, as in the video, applying a pinky beige lipstick and a little bit of gloss, and that will complete the look. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to rate, thumbs up would be great, and I will see you all next time. Thank you, bye-bye.